Okay, this identification is it can also be considered a part of a sci uh, from a historiography point of view, a, a scientific history. Um, so uh, Alexander Graham Bell was born in 1847 and died in 1922. Um, Bell was a Scottish-born scientist. He moved uh, to Canada and then eventually to the uh, United States. He invented the phone approximately in 1876, and he went on to invent the metal detector, uh, really for health medical detector, hearing devices, and, and was very interested, really what drove most of his research was his interest in hearing. Um, here's a, a diagram of this, uh, his, his first telephone. And I, I think I, I want to mention a little more about his interest in hearing. He grew up uh, with a deaf mother and um, in, in Scotland. So he was very interested, uh, although his mother was a great pianist, but he, but he was very interested in trying to do stuff to help deaf people and, and how to improve hearing and how to create, uh, he had the idea of creating a hearing aid so these, this is the kind of background that, that made him, uh, he didn't just set out to start a telephone, he was, he was driven by, by helping uh, improve hearing. And then that kind of accidentally led to uh, the invention of the telephone. Uh, here he's working with sound and, um, and then uh, continued to work uh, with, with a variety of things to improve sound. Okay. Here, here you see, you know, an early telephone. Of course, you know, now we have cell phones and it's, it's, it's so advanced, but over the years, this really started with, with Alexander Graham Bell. Um, so, uh, Bell worked for a while in Boston. Um, he also invented um, a metal detector, but the telephone is what, what he's, he's most famous for. We have another, another shot of more, uh, you know, different types of phones back in, back in those days. So, uh, yeah, there's Alexander Graham Bell at an older age. Um, Actually, he married, he married, a, not only his mother was, was there, but he married a deaf woman. Here's his, here's Bell's uh, first uh, attempt at hearing aid to try and, you know, it, you can see, I think you can put an idea together just by looking at the device, how it, it would improve hearing. Um, so his metal detector, like I said, was not like, you know, finding metal in sand or something, uh, although that may have developed from that eventually. This was for a metal detector for injuries, like for bullets or, or for fragments of metal uh, that get in the body. So um, here his metal, his early metal detector was used on uh, President James Garfield, who had been shot um, by what ultimately was an assassin. Uh, this, this attempt, it, they failed to find the bullet, but of course the lack of antibiotics and things uh, didn't help, and and so uh, eventually uh, Garfield died. But it, Bell did attempt to save his life, um, and Garfield hung on for a while, but but eventually died. Um, but later uh, metal detectors, you know, we know that led, led to who knows uh, how many advancements. Uh, such as x-rays and, and other medical technology uh, partially began from, from this. So um, deafness was, like I said, important to Bell. Um, um, he advised schools such as uh, the Pennsylvania School for Deaf and other uh, ideas for deaf people, such as sign language and, and other uh, mouthing words and, and all kinds of things in his um, desire to to help it out so all in all uh, alexander bell was very important in scientific history um, 
and invented the phone uh, and hearing devices and the metal detector.